The Glendale Elementary School District is considering a proposal to close some elementary schools in the upcoming school year. Cronkite News reporter Melissa Zaramba gives us the details on which schools are on the list. There are several schools on the proposed list and the closures are expected to be done in stages. There are fewer children walking through the doors of Glendale Elementary School District. Low enrollment is one reason the district is considering closing schools. Two schools, Isaac E. Imes and Melvin E. Sign, could be closed as soon as this fall. A public hearing last week, many concerned residents came to fight for their schools. Asking you, and God hopefully touches your heart and give us a chance to speak. Let us show you how much our school means to me, to us, to our community. A parent from Isaac E. Imes School is worried that the school closures will force students and teachers to move to schools further from their neighborhoods. They're affecting their education. What if they can't get there? What if they can't get to the bus stops? You know, you're going to come back for them? What? You know, it's just, why don't you just wait? Go to the public. Let the public speak. The plan also calls for additional schools like Coyote Ridge and Bicentennial North to close the following year. Closed schools could be repurposed. One of the elementary schools that could be repurposed in which later could become a system care center or a preschool. Adriana Alvarado Parsons, the director of communications for the Glendale Elementary School District, says there are many reasons for this difficult decision. And it's really not just because of the pandemic, but really if we look back at uh, what's been happening and the research and the studies that have been presented to our governing board in the past several years, uh, this is uh, action that is uh, timely and needing to take place for the district. Other factors include the areas with low birth rate, a lack of affordable housing, and increased in competition from other schools. Parsons wants the community to know the district is here for support. If the closures are approved, they will close in phases. There will be a community engagement form tonight at 5 p.m. at Desert Garden Elementary School, where more information will be provided. In the studio, Melissa Zaremba, Cronkite News.